and that is a good old-fashioned trifle. All a trifle requires is a little bit of innovation and you can add flavors, combinations, not like Rachel in Friends, but you can get to off the beaten track. My Anglo-Italian trifle has hints of raspberry, but jalapeno coming in laced beautifully with some mascarpone cheese. Let's get to creating this now. Now while a trifle, as the name suggests, is a confusion of sorts, you can use a lot of store-bought variants just to accentuate it and style it up to the next level. Like I'm using a normal Victorian sponge or a marble cake which is store-bought along with some raspberry jello just to accentuate it. To start off into a bowl, I've got six egg yolks. To that, I'm going to add about six tablespoons of sugar and create that perfect saffrony yellow savayon. Whisk the sugar and the egg yolks on a double boiler till they get nice, frothy, aerated, and the sugar melts really well. While it is a turmeric yellow color right now, give it about five minutes of continuous whisking on a double boiler. It gets to that perfect saffrony yellow color. As the sabayo emulsifies and gets to that perfect saffrony yellow tinge, it's ready. All we're going to do is allow it to rest a little on the side and in the meantime get to creating that perfect jelly. Into the saucepan I've got two cups of water coming to a rapid boil and into that I'm just using a store-bought raspberry jelly variant. So just put it in, switch off the flame, whisk it so that the crystals dissolve and get to that translucent perfect raspberry red color for about a minute to a minute and a half and we're just going to cool it down with two cups of cold water. I like to always follow the store-bought instructions on the packaging to have that perfect jello ready. With this whisked in all we are going to do is add in the two cups of chilled water and we are ready to allow this to cool down and come to room temperature on this side. Every Christmas I go about making a raspberry jalapeno jam and a black cherry relish. And while I always have it lying over all year round, it's perfect to use in this trifle. So out here on the Victorian sponge, all I'm going to do is sandwich up some of this raspberry jalapeno relish in between and form the layers. So take a nice dollop of it and put it in between two slices of cake. And we're just going to layer this into the glass bowl. Just put the sponge cake in. So I've used about 250 grams of a good Victorian sponge. When you sandwich the raspberry jalapeno jam in between, it just gives it that tinge of gorgeousness. And we're just going to add some dollops on top. Bursting with flavor and let it go into all the nooks and crannies. It's just going to give those gorgeous specks of color. And the jalapenos give it that glorious tinge. Now, if you do not have a raspberry jalapeno relish, just use some good old-fashioned sugar-free raspberry jam along with some finely chopped jalapenos. The lukewarm raspberry jelly just going on top. And while I'm not creating an alcoholic version of this, Hence, I'm using the raspberry jelly. You can use a nice lemon jelly along with some liqueur or some lemosino liqueur as well. With the jelly soaking really well into the sponge and 
Though I'm not using alcohol, you can go right ahead and infuse it either with some orange liqueur or some lemon liquor or go even off the beaten track and use a nice lemon jelly and liqueur to scent this creation. You can get as experimentative and explorative as possible. Out here I've got about 200 grams of a short crust pastry that I've just crumbled and we're just going to put it on top to give it some depth of character and flavour. While on top, it gets another drizzle of some raspberry jelly, just so that it's that common ingredient that brings everything together. And that's extremely important in a trifle to have one thing that marries everything together. And here's my gorgeous black cherry relish going on top. It's sugar-free and it's got that chunky texture that is so required in creating this. about 50 grams of this specs and all and it's time now to create that mascarpone infusion that nestles on top. As the Sauvignon has come down to room temperature with that gorgeously saffrony yellow emulsion perfectly aerated and having that depth of character and flavor you just add that into a large glass bowl and it's time now to fold in some mascarpone cream. So I've got about 500 grams of mascarpone cream that I'm just going to fold into this. 500 grams of mascarpone going in and we're just going to allow it to infuse with each other getting to that perfect consistency. Just slightly mix the two together till it comes to the right consistency to nappy on top. Smoothen out the two, the mascarpone and the sabayo, and you've got that perfect lemony yellow color of a mascarpone cream that nestles on top. Dividing this in two batches so that you get some bit of flavor in between with some frozen raspberries. So I've got about 200 grams of frozen raspberries that is going to settle in between this. The tart elements of that raspberry just balance out the richness and the creaminess that this mascarpone cream brings. So while you settle this up really well, it's time to add in the raspberries now. Ensure the consistency is as coarse and rugged as possible and just take this gorgeous raspberry chunks of it and allow it to stain this creation so just put it and I love the color that raspberry brings with this entire mascarpone goodness throw the colors of Christmas it's a perfect Anglo Italian creation The last batch of the mascarpone cream going on top just to blanket that gorgeous red that we set in between. I'm not going to waste anything so I'm taking every bit of the scraping into this. I want the red to look through so I'm just going to roughly mix the two up giving it that marbly texture and peeping out here and there into this creation. Leftover jelly is always a hit in our family, so I'm just going to pour it in a bowl and put it into the refrigerator to set as well. This is an added treat to enjoy either with the trifle or just with some old-fashioned cream. You chill this in the refrigerator for two to three hours, take it out and garnish it with yet another unique design. Four hours and counting, this trifle has set gorgeously well and the red and the mascarpone cream is just bursting with flavour. All this requires is a garnish of some almond slivers. So take about 15 to 20 almonds, 
blanch them, take off the skin, cut them very, very fine and just toast them on a pan so that they have that toasty goodness that is required in this creation. This trifle is ready to be enjoyed and all we're going to do is dig right in. I hope you enjoyed creating my version of an Anglo-Italian trifle, two countries coming together, yet distinct flavors merging in perfect harmony. The raspberry and the jalapeno bring with it that spice and tart citric elements that balance out with the Savoyon, the black cherry and the sponge that we've added in. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Here I am where the movie started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen